We live with jams and bottlenecks every day. Sure, it's inconvenient, even frustrating to have our schedules delayed and plans set back. But imagine a roadblock so bad, it can set your whole life back. This year, millions of people will have blood clots form in the highway system inside the body. Known by the medical term thrombosis, blood clots are responsible for one in four deaths worldwide. Arterial thrombosis develops in an artery, while venous thrombosis forms in a vein, usually in the legs. A clot that forms and moves in the circulation is called an embolism. When a clot forms in the leg veins, it is known as deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. If the clot then moves to the lungs, it is called pulmonary embolism, or PE. Together, DVT and PE are known as venous thromboembolism, or VTE, a potentially deadly medical condition. Often, the first sign of VTE can be a sudden collapse or even death. That is why prevention is critical. The good news is that in many cases, VTE is preventable. So what can you do? Know who's most at risk for VTE. This includes people who are hospitalized, undergoing surgery, have cancer or are receiving cancer treatment, or are immobilized for a prolonged period. Also know the signs and symptoms and seek medical attention right away if you have them. When a clot forms in a deep leg vein, it can cause pain or tenderness, swelling, redness, or warmth. People experiencing PE can have symptoms like shortness of breath, rapid breathing, chest pain, rapid heart rate, lightheadedness, or passing out. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek medical attention right away, even if you don't have any risk factors. In other cases, a blood clot that develops in an artery or in the chambers of the heart can break free and travel to the brain. This can cause a stroke. A very common risk factor for stroke is atrial fibrillation, or AFib, a type of irregular heartbeat. People who have AFib may not experience any symptoms, so it's important to know who's at risk. People over age 60 and those with congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, or diabetes are more likely to develop AFib. Like VTE, effective prevention of stroke in patients with AFib is critical, and effective treatment is available to markedly reduce the risk of stroke in people with AFib. People who develop AFib may experience heart palpitations, lightheadedness, fatigue, shortness of breath, and chest pain. Seek medical attention right away if you have any of these symptoms. When it comes to thrombosis, be proactive. Know the risk factors for VTE and for AFib. If you're admitted to the hospital, ask your doctor for a VTE risk assessment and make sure they check your pulse. Know your risk. Prevent thrombosis. Keep life flowing. <laughs>